There are well over 80,000 wild horses and burros across the western United States, and they are a constant concern for both wildlife managers and animal activists. One Utah State University professor says it's a problem that his generation created. New specialist Mike Anderson shows how he's now turning to the youth of today to help solve it. Horses are long considered a symbol of the American West. The 1971 Act said horses are important, they're valuable, they need to be part of the landscape. But as Terry Mesmer, professor and wildlife specialist with the Utah State University Extension points out, they're not native and they're exhausting the resources for other animals and themselves. There are no native predators that prey on wild horses, and so you really have a system that's out of balance. Today, he's pulling high school and college students into the discussion, taking them early this morning to a sagegrass lek or mating ground near Hennifer. When the population of horses doubles, the risk of loss of sage grouse increases by 90%. Sadly, we only caught a glimpse of the birds, but Mesmer says the point is in showing how one at-risk species is being impacted by another that is overgrown. Mesmer says essentially his generation created this problem and maybe trying too hard to protect the wild horses. He'd like the younger generation to learn to work together and find some better solutions. Among the current efforts is the Bureau of Land Management's Wild Horse and Burrow Program. We came in knowing a little, but I feel like we came out knowing a lot more about the process of how everything is run here. Ashley Walker and Hannah Pulsifer learning today how the program rounds up horses, training some to be sold, keeping others at facilities like this to live out their lives. And they care so deeply about each and every one of them. Though the program is controversial among advocates who say the roundups can injure and traumatize the horses and that some may be later sold for slaughter despite the BLM's efforts to curtail that practice. I think one thing we definitely should do is educate more people and kind of get more of like a broadcast on what's going on here and how we are handling the horses. The BLM has also tried darting horses with contraceptives that work for about a year at a time. Still, Mesmer says what we're doing now isn't working and it's costing taxpayers about $80 million a year. We kicked this can down the road for 50 years now and we're leaving this problem for the youth of America to also solve. In Rock Springs, Wyoming, Mike Anderson, KSL 5 News.